here we go again. Welcome back, fellow comic book aficionados. David Eon and the stunning Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with a comics pickup, a comics haul. And actually, it's it's all hers. I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything. It's all hers. She bought out a lot run of, like, classic, I guess, bronze and copper age war books. Yeah, G.I. Combat. Yeah, from somebody. Yeah. Uh, to work on her run here. Yeah. And so she's got like stacks and stacks of these books. You know how many you got? It's supposed to be 130 something. 130. Wow. Yeah. I had met this guy and I told y'all before mm -hmm. at um one at the Macon comic convention. And I bought some books from him and we were talking and he was like, Oh, you like war books? And I was like, Yeah, he was like, I got a ton. Boxes and boxes and I can't get rid of them. Um, I was like, well, I'd love to buy them from you. So we've been working together over the past few months. So mm -hmm. every month I'll buy some. Sure. And he really does want to get rid of it because he's selling them for less than a dollar a piece. And who is this? His name is um, Carol from Kryptonite Comics. Okay. And I've shown his card a bunch yes. of times. But and um, he does pack well. Oh, God, he packs yeah, well. He does pack but well. But we want to show you what I, I got. I love this. Need someone else, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> and and like I said before, I love the uh, war books. Yeah. I love the covers. I love the ones that have, um, I call it the controversial covers. Yeah. You know, with Hitler on it uh -oh. or something like that. Um. So I I got kids about to get run oh over. Oh yeah, this there. It, this baby right here about to get it. Yeah. Um. And her dolly too. Yeah. But um, I collect war books, and GI Combat is one of the books that one of the runs that I uh, that I'm collecting, and I have a few, and he had like a bunch. So this is about got me uh -huh. um, the whole thing. Now he didn't have like one through. I think it's 75 starts the gray tone covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those are the ones that I really was concentrating on. He didn't have any of those. Oh, well. So I was like, okay. Well, those but, are guaranteed to sell, though. This stuff yeah, is a little slower. Yeah, this stuff is a lot slower because, you know, the gray tone ones, I have a few, but they are um they, they 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 are really done well and then some of the covers you can put them together and they make one panel so you know if Look. you put the book side by side like this is one continuous uh thing you what? can't leave us trapped yeah just watch me oh, <laughs> um so that's one thing one about with, the uh, uh kids ab about the gray tones but um, they're really done well. And that was run, I want to say, 75 up to 109. Mm -hmm. So if you see those, that's a that's a gem. That's a good find. Yeah. And I try to pick them up when I can. People will pay a premium for those because of how well done the covers are. Yeah, the, the covers are done very well. And like I said, some of the covers, they go together if you put the book side by side is one continuous picture these are silver mm -hmm. and these are uh those are and those are cubit covers too yeah so yeah i like gi combat yeah so all of this is gi combat and yeah and the haunted tank is in gi combat yes <clears throat> so you'll see the haunted tank a lot and um the haunted tank is also in some of the Star Spangled War and the Unknown Soldier. So sometimes you'll see, oh, look Jesus at Jesus on the, on the cover. cover. Yeah. World War II. Oh, that's one. World War I. See if you can see the Jesus. Mm hmm. America's number one battle mag, it says, or magazine. Yeah. But I like war books. You know, I like good covers, too. Sure. I, I love a good cover. Yeah, nowadays, that's all you get. You get some decent covers, and then you open it up, and the, uh, the artwork... I, I don't agree. The artwork... I don't agree at all. No, well, I mean, the, the, the way that the uh, covers are done, mm -hmm. 
is is a high quality. They may not be interesting. Yeah. But they're not interesting because they look like portraits. Yeah. So that it's good artwork in that respect. But it's nothing going on. Like if you look at this cover, there's for an a example, whole story on the cover. Yeah, you can look at this whole thing and, and you can see something or like on this one where you got words on it now in the modern books they don't have words on the cover yeah. you can kind of read a story just on the cover of the book yeah but not anymore like now that. that's a nice one this one needs to be fixed but um you don't get that anymore so you get a nice portrait of something and it's just a portrait yeah of somebody just somebody standing, standing around, around or someone's face or something uh, yeah and but it's, it's like it's well drawn but sometimes it's well and drawn. then you open the book up and all the art looks like it's out of a coloring book yeah and there's no words in there for you to read yeah. you can sit down and read it in like five minutes that's a that's a nice one yeah i like this yeah. one or this one um where they all with the, sleep guy, the guys the are tank. asleep and there's a hole blown in the side of the tank there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the one thing that um you know oh, um catch, yeah, catches me like about this. the mm -hmm. older books. You got better covers, the covers tell you something, yeah. it tells you a story. Unlike the modern ones, it's like nothing is going on. Nothing makes you want to buy it unless you just know the story. Now, I have bought some modern books, I will admit. Mm -hmm. And um, the ones I buy, I got to look at that cover. And I have to make sure that cover draws me in. It's something going on yeah. on that cover that make me say, oh, yeah, I, I want to get that. But, yeah. Oh, the the whole industry has changed, but yeah. Every time you always see a video on YouTube talking about is the comic book industry destroyed? Is it over? Well, um, did this book destroy the comic book yeah, industry? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Well, I mean, it's I been really hurt. can't it's tell It's been you. hurting for a while, but you know, mm -hmm. people are going to speculate regardless. But people are going to still buy because you still see people buy, and they still have these um, high price books. You know. It goes wow. for like thousands of dollars, and you're sitting there like, why is this book thousands of dollars? On this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, artificial demand, that's why. You can actually see the bullets ripping through the people <clears throat> that are running from the tank. <laughs> see, and all of that is just interesting. I mean, yeah. look at these guys' faces. Their faces, their emotion, you, you got everything captured there. You can sit down and just look at this cover for about 10 minutes and just gain a lot out of that, mm -hmm. you know? And um, those are things that's just lost. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of things in our society has been lost in the art of storytelling, I believe, is one of those arts yep. that have been lost and telling a story through pictures. Um, yeah, there's a it's writer's lost. there's a writer strike going on. Nobody nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares because yeah. all they do is write garbage that you don't want to listen to anyway. They don't make no good TV shows or movies. It's all garbage. It's all stuff that's been done already. They steal from Rod Serling and Ray Bradbury. And, yeah, if you've um, seen enough Ruel of the old Dog. shows, you can see them be, the stuff being rehashed. Yeah. Only. It's not written better. They just make the music louder. Yeah. It's blaring, blisteringly loud. Or they, they, or they take the, 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 well, yeah, they take the story and they just retell it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's like you have zero imagination. You can't even, you, you go to school to be a writer. You get paid thousands, millions of dollars to be this, this um, writer. You get awards for being a writer. And then your stories are garbage. You know, nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to see it. Nobody want to watch it. And then you get mad at the uh, at the audience when they don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why nobody likes my writing because yeah. it's garbage. That's why nobody like it. You write something worth worth reading, worth listening listening to or watching, and people are, are want to read it. I mean, I want to see it. You know. But anyway, goodness. What? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, pretty, a lot that's going pretty on. dynamic there. Yeah, yeah, he pulling that guy up with one hand. He's hanging on to him before mm -hmm. they go over the hanging edge. Hanging on by a thread. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, we just got a, a, a lost art, in, in, like I said, in storytelling. And um, it's just sad because um, 
I don't know if it's going to ever be regained. Well, there's enough um, stuff from the past out there mm -hmm. to keep you busy for a lifetime. So yeah. all the old TV shows and all the old movies and all the old uh, books, comics or novels or whatever, yeah. there's so much out there. It's a lifetime's worth anyway, so you can always just uh, fall back. You don't have to always have something new. No, you don't. Actually, I prefer the older stuff. Yeah, it was well written. Oh, the little girl leading them. We're blind, Gina. Oh, no. See how the little girl leading them? He, they driving the tank and everything. She leading the one guy by the hand. See, that's the story right there. Now, you <laughs> like, want to read this. <laughs> this makes you say, oh, my God, what happened to them? Why is this little girl leading them? And why is this guy over here with a gun about to shoot? See, now you want to read that. You want to know what's going on. Those are things that get me with most yeah, comments. Yeah. yeah, it makes me say, man, what's going on here? Let me read that. Not when I just see some halfway naked woman on the cover and they're all her boobs out. And I don't want to read that. Nothing about yeah, that. Yeah, there boob. are people that buy it just for that. And, I, and, and, and that's, they... that's wrong with that. That's that's fine. But it's like, okay, I got that for the cover, period. Mm -hmm. Nothing about reading. Well, there's a whole big artificial demand market uh, centered around variant covers anyways. <laughs> As we were talking about, what was it, Berserker? Oh, uh, yeah, Reeves Keanu Reeves book with like 50. It's 69. There are 69 <laughs> covers. And it's like, okay, uh, that's completely artificial demand. I mean, yeah. how, many, how many covers do you need? Two, three? No, <laughs> we need 69 of them. <laughs> and it's like, there's no way you could, you could have them all. You know? Now, I, yes, you can have them all. Yeah, if you can afford it. I mean, if you bought it when it came out, I mean, now it might be a bit much. But I mean, okay, that's 69 books. Some people got like thousands of comics, so you can afford 69 books. No, but 69 are the same issue with different covers. Yeah, that's it's a bit much. too much. Now, I admit, I do have some, some newer books, and I got the variants of it. And yeah. I got like three of each. Yeah. You know, some of these are pretty clean. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the one thing the, about this guy. You look at the spine. You there. know, he's like, oh, the books aren't in good shape. This so, a, you know, I'm thinking, okay, going to be a little ragtag, going to have a little eat out right here. It's yeah. going to be spine ticked to death. There's nothing wrong with these books. I mean, you're not going to get a 9 8, but you might get a 7 <laughs> <laughs> or 8, 9 2 yeah. on I mean, a good day. Um, I mean, there's a couple that are a little rough, especially like the Silver Age ones, but. Yeah, the but most, these are in for the most good part, shape. These aren't bad, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I talked to him because um, he got some romance and some horror books. So I'm working on that next. He got some Sergeant Rock, and I do uh, collect Sergeant Rock. Yeah, look at the attention to detail, too. You yeah. see he's all sunburned. He mm -hmm. pulled his goggles up, and now his face is sunburned. Yeah, look at that. So somebody thought of that. Mm -hmm. when somebody were, when with some sense. This. Somebody that had on glasses one time and got sunburned thought about that. That would be Joe Kubert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. <coughs> yeah, but mm -hmm. you know how it goes. Indeed. Yeah, but I'm going to work with him to get some romance books. a lot books. of books. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, yeah, the romance book. You know, and that's um, that's something that's actually coming back a lot, too. People are going back and looking for those, the old war books and the old Somebody romance Somebody wrote books. a big fat 50 on this oh, one. Oh, no. It don't, it don't matter to me because it's still in good shape. All of the Look, pages are there. you get both flags on this one. Oh, yeah. It's a couple of them that got both flags. Yeah. And those are things that I like. Um, oh no, they're gonna shoot each other. Come on now, y'all friends. Yeah, they, they feign a lot of controversy on these covers though with these characters. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. They're both they both look the same. No, he's the imposter. Shoot him. Yeah, so now we gotta I'm get the that real figure. Jeb. Okay, Jeb. Even Boss Hogg did that. Yeah. Remember when he had his cousin? Wasn't his it was his brother. Oh his brother yeah. He his got twin, a twin, twin brother. brother. The good boss. Yeah, that that looks just like him, but he wears, he wears an all, all black, black suit instead that's of right. all white. But that's the only one that Flash likes. Flash don't like boss, huh? No, he don't like. But boss. he like the brother. Yeah, he likes the brother. That's how. That's the way you can tell them apart. When mm -hmm. uh, boss tries to pull the okey doke. 
Oh, that guy's got. A, he's running with no leg. He he's uh, he's on crutches. When one, and he's missing a leg. Mm hmm You can do it with some practice. Mm hmm Can you? Mm-hmm. Robots. Two Seven. haunted tank tails. This one right here. The cycle soldier. And look at this guy here. He about to die of frostbite. <laughs> That's a lot of imagination. Yeah, and I bet you the stories are good. Mm hmm So I can't wait to read it. Yeah, so I don't uh I don't care for you know, we already know. I don't what? care for a lot of the new the modern stories. They just don't seem to have very much substance. And there's a lot of vintage stories that are kinda goofy. Yeah. But the dialogue is still pretty good in them, even for regardless. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, this one got two. Yeah. Is uh, on both sides. Yeah, oh, this one got Sergeant Rock and the Losers in there. Oh, it's an extra one. Mm -hmm. um, Destro on the other side there. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, kind of looks like Destro, Destro. with the uh, Nazi uh, symbol. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, we it's almost. A lot done. of books. I know. So for those of you that like war books, uh huh. There you go. Oh yeah, they pulling him out. Oh, yeah, they got him lot. all tied up. There's a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I want that one. No, you ain't getting it. Oh. No. oh, this one got two books. Yeah. Um, Look at that. Dinosaurs and so and tanks and soldiers. Oh, okay. It was like stuck that. Together. Okay, it was stuck together. Okay. But yeah, I mean, come on. Dinosaur. The, and it, there's uh, a lot of people look for those, too. Yeah. Those war books with dinosaurs on And you do they have a those. few. Yeah. There is a few, especially in um, Star Spangled War. <laughs> oh, yeah. Star, Star Spangled War Tales. Um, there's a few with dinosaurs and the pterodactyls and stuff like that. Now, that next <clears throat> one would draw attention, too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. With that look big old that. gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this next one. What's that? Oh, they're on a train. This is a genre for that, too. People mm -hmm. like uh, train covers. They about to lay him to rest. See, they're putting a flag over him. He's sleepy. Yeah, sure he is. Yeah. <laughs> Not with that flag on him. Yeah, take a dirt nap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, uh, forever. He died to save us. Yep, sure did. That's what it says. Many did. Uh oh, last book. Yep, last God. Book. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed looking at sure, the uh, sure. the War Books GI Combat. You fans of this kind of stuff, anybody? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or I mean, it's not, not. Hopefully, like, it sparked your interest. Yeah, it's not like, and now's the time because it's starting to pick up, and books, especially from uh, bronze and copper, in good condition are getting harder and harder to find. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in lesser condition, you can find most of the time, mm -hmm. you can find them for a reasonable price, at least right now. Mm -hmm. So it's something worth looking at, especially since they don't really do war books or romance titles anymore. No. Uh, Charlton was the last holdout in the 80s. Well, they did the, the new Sergeant Rock uh, yeah, that's series. Yeah, like a homage series. Well, the deceased. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 because it was zombies. Yeah. But, um... I, I do have that. I haven't read it yet. I don't think... And it has some really good covers. Now, they went back uh -huh. when they did the covers on that. It, it made you feel like it was one of the older books. It had a lot of depth to it. Yeah. A lot going on on the cover. So that's really what drew me in. And I spoke to somebody about it that read it, and they were like, no, it's, the story is actually pretty good. So, okay. But, you know, there's no dedicated ones, I don't think. Oh, no, no. Because that's like a mini series. Yeah, I don't think I don't think so. I don't know, but I don't think so. But, hey, guys, what do you think? Did you see any? Did that pique your interest? You see yeah. anything interesting there? You know, do you collect uh, war books? Is that, <laughs> if, if not, is that something that looks like it would uh, draw your eye? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye.